what is up you guys thanks so much for coming to see another video today we had a lot of fun I filmed one video of my eyes I filmed this video of my face see so yeah, I'm trying some new Fenty Beauty products in this video today and I'm really really excited about it if you guys want to know how they work for me then keep on watching are right, you guys super duper excited I'm going to moisturize first with my Valjean Labs replenish it's like a water hydration gel and I just kind of take some on my, my finger and let my skin just drink it up that's literally how it feels do you guys like these eyes what are y'all thinking right now like whoa this face is so beyond ready for makeup so i'm really excited today because i got some new fenty products this girl's happy and excited to show you guys Ooh. okay so first things first and i'm really excited about this because literally everyone talks about this um, it is the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. I'm obsessed. I've actually used it a couple times and I'm really glad to bring it here to my channel because I absolutely love it. Love it. You know like with primers you're kind of like, um, hmm, did it work? Did it not work? I can't really tell. Well, I'll tell you this much. I wore this actually yesterday. Probably had my makeup on for 12 hours. I wanted to just hop on here and video it for you guys because I was amazed. My makeup looked the same. So, I'm going to tell you what I think it was. It was this primer with the new Morphe Fluidity Foundation. Also mixed with Cover FX Drops. That is a bomb.com combo once you set it like your makeup will not move will not move like I could not see a blemish or anything I had maybe um, a little bit of oil in my t-zone but I always do that's like non preventable so I just wanted to share that with you so that's what we're gonna do today so we're gonna start with the morphe foundation fluidity foundation I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and then I have Cover FX Drops, which I really like. Then I mix it, and I'm just going to apply it on one side of my face. If you guys haven't seen my review on this foundation, the Morphe foundation, um, I'll link it below if you want to go see it and learn about it. It's a great foundation. It is the matte <laughs> if that's a word. It's the most matte foundation that I've ever tried, and I love matte. So, um... It got me but anyway yeah so I'm just applying it to one side of my face because it dries very very quickly and the coverage is amazing if you guys like these eyes I will have the video up and I'll probably put that in the link below also I did this look using the James Charles palette I just figured I would put the foundation in a separate video because it gets kind of long when you do it all in one. I think these eyes are just beaming. I'm also kind of showing you guys how I go around um, my eye makeup. Because a lot of people don't like to do their eye makeup before um, foundation. I used to be the exact same way. When you do your eyes first, like it gives you so much more freedom to just make a mess. I like to do my eyebrows first because I can clean them up and carve them out and it's just amazing and if I try and carve out my eyebrows after I've already done my foundation and my foundation has set and everything I will move the foundation underneath and that drives me insane now we have our little trio of matchsticks one of them's a contour one of them's a blush and one of them's a concealer so now that I've just put my base on I want to contour with this little baby look how cute this is like the packaging is adorable it's just sleek and basic but it's also like nice so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna just rub it on the back of my hand like this you want to warm up your product and I have used this one other time and I loved it you guys are gonna see how amazingly easy it blends out and I don't use that much because this is medium color I don't want to overdo it <laughs> And then I just take my same beauty blender and I just lightly bounce over the contour. It just slowly starts to blur. Wow. I mean, that is one of the nicest contour colors. 
Wow, now we look like we have a little bit of life. We are not a spooky ghost anymore. <laughs> By the way, that was the matchsticks in the color mocha. Now, this is, I'm telling you guys, this is the most gorgeous blush color that I've seen. That really doesn't mean too much because I'm not a blush girl, as you guys know. I am becoming one slowly, but this is the most beautiful blush color I've ever personally seen. Like, look at that. That coral color. I'm obsessed. It is literally so pretty. So I'm going to warm that up on the back of my hand. And I'm going to lightly, lightly apply it right here on my cheek. It's even got a glow. And I'm going to take my same beauty blender. Immediately start blending it. I need to make this color in an actual blush. And I will be sold for life. Okay, and lastly, I'm not actually going to use it because it's a little darker than what I want, um, is the concealer. And this is in the color Bamboo, and it's a nice, cool tone, really like flush tone. It looks like my skin. Like, it actually looks like skin, but I'm a little too pale for this to work for my under eyes right now. I want it to be a little bit brighter, so I'm not going to use it, but it is absolutely beautiful, and I have tried to use it. It works just like the contour stick. It's like a firm formula. It's not like easily moved, but like if you're careful, you can apply it, and it looked really good just like my contour did. With the blush, you just got to move fast, okay? You just have to move fast, and if your foundation dries, it's just what it is. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. And that wasn't a good explanation. But second to lastly, we are going to apply ColourPop No Filter Concealer underneath my eyes the best I can because we all see what's going on under my eyes right now. So this is the way I set it. I'm going to set it with my pointy sponge underneath my eyes. I'm just going to take my other sponge and I'm gonna go in the most oily places that I get. So my nose, my chin, my smile lines are starting to appear more nowadays. I feel like that's a horrible thing to complain about. Having smile lines, it just means you smile a lot. So it's okay. Now I do not do this on my normal day-to-day -day work routine. But for my videos, I do. I like to use this little powder puff. And just create a sharp contour and when I do that part I just feel shapely now that we are baking we are contoured we are somewhat blushed I'm gonna go fix my under eyes and then we'll be back to finish up so now I just soak up that bake with my sponge leaves it really like precise and I like that because it looks really neat alright so now I'm just gonna use a small little bronzer and set this cream contour that we did. Then I take my same brush and I'm going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in the color Feisty. Bottom of my nose because Nicole Concilio does it and I actually see what she's talking about. It's really cute. Then I'm taking Morphe Continuous Spray and I'm going to set my face. And then immediately after I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Highlighter. This is in the color Blossom Glow. And I'm using an eyebrow brush. Okay, and then I like to go over the highlight with my Beauty Blender and push it all in. Because, look at that. I always thought this would remove the highlight, but it doesn't. It just literally pushes it in. Now I'm going to put on a light lip liner. This is Coco K. And then I've been really stuck on the Melted Mattes by Too Faced. I've been stuck on this color. I forgot how much I liked it. If this ain't the most colorful look you've ever seen. And here's the final look, you guys. What do y'all think of this face makeup? I'll tell you one thing right now. It is absolutely beautiful. Paired with the Morphe foundation, the primer just does something. I don't know what it does, but... It really just kind of gives you like a glow, but it doesn't make you dewy and it doesn't make you dry. It's like that perfect in between. You know how like some products just work for people and some don't? This product absolutely works for me 
I'm 100% like sold on it. I absolutely love it. This would be like my third or fourth time trying it and I'm sold. I'm in love with this Pro Filter Primer and the Contour Sticks. I'm in love. I will probably be using this every single day. So yeah, I hope you guys like this look. If you have any questions, let me know. Any suggestions, let me know. Love you guys so much and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. blush oh that blush it's that blush for me obviously but um where is my towel i have no idea why my one ear is red it makes no sense okay then i take mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. then i take my same brush